What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Michael here and welcome back to the first ever Deus Ex build on Fudge Muppet. This build is of course for Mankind Divided and it's the ultimate setup for a stealth playthrough. We're defining a stealth playthrough as one where you avoid triggering alarms at all costs and remain undetected on all missions. This is a great build for people who want the foxiest of hounds achievement which you get for triggering zero alarms in your entire playthrough. This won't be our only Deus Ex build, we've got more coming soon. Definitely hit the subscribe button to get all our Deus Ex builds for different playthroughs we've got coming. We're definitely doing a pacifist kill no one build and a full on combat one too and you won't want to miss it. The ultimate stealth build, which is this one, will immerse you as a true professional during your playthrough and it is very rewarding. You'll be able to navigate seamlessly through all situations and terrains due to our augmentation choices and you'll feel like a phantom. It's both traversal and stealth that make this build so effective. Having unlimited access to everywhere will be key to avoiding discovery and staying hidden. On missions, you'll feel as discreet as a fly on the wall, and to your enemies, you will truly seem a harmless shadow in the corner. For clarity, this is a stealth build, meaning you do want to remain unseen, and that you can play lethal or non-lethal. It's up to you, both can be accomplished. Our pacifist build will be completely non-lethal. This build simply minimizes interference and damage dealt as much as possible. He can kill or knock out if he has to, but for this playthrough, you'll be playing Jensen, as a guy that doesn't want to touch anyone if he doesn't need to. Now let's get right into it and talk augments. Firstly, I want to say that prioritizing every single augment choice in order is very complicated and will majorly depend on your personal strengths and preferences. That said, we strongly recommend prioritizing battery, mobility, and invisibility, with mobility including anything that helps you gain access to different places. So let's look at some fundamentals. For all the Deus Ex Mankind Divided builds we've got coming out, we'll want to focus on upgrading the Seraph Series 8 Energy Converter. This is your battery. This is what will let you use your augments and constantly have charge to knock people out or kill them if you have to. What you need to do is focus on recharge rate and recharge delay. Max these out. We don't think that capacity is worth upgrading at all because most of the time you're just using the small part of rechargeable energy. If you really need to use more than that, just use your bio cells. Another thing we'll recommend for all builds is the social enhancer, but it is optional. We just think it's really cool and you'll get more out of conversations in Deus Ex if you use it. It'll help you avoid making a scene too, which is cool for a stealth build. Another priority augment is Glass Shield Cloaking, aka Invisibility. Upgrade it to make the battery consumption super efficient, but don't worry about the cloak to take down support. This is a stealth build, so you'll only be initiating close quarter combat when you have to, and a cloak won't save you if you need to stay hidden in a room of people anyway, as your battery will shortly run out from all the energy consumption it requires. If you need to take out two people, just stun gun one and knock out the other. The other augmentation choices we'll soon talk about will let you avoid being in sticky situations in the first place anyway. Invisibility is fantastic for any stealthy build in Deus Ex, as it does allow you to stay undetected by people, cameras, and even laser tripwires, which you'll be able to walk through worry-free. You'll want to carry a healthy amount of bio cells if you feel like using invisibility to run through an entire section of an area unseen. You may also want to upgrade hacking between all the choices we're discussing, but it isn't as much of a priority. Let's start talking about mobility. Mobility will allow you to gain access to routes which enemies aren't patrolling, places where cameras don't exist and turrets can't see. The Icarus Dash modification is awesome for this. You'll want the Charge to Dash upgrade. This will allow you to zip around your environment going all directions, including up and down. It's almost like teleportation. You can knock enemies out using this as well. Now, this isn't always what you want to do, but you can in the right circumstance. For example, you could neutralize a sniper by zipping up to him on a rooftop you want to go over. Icarus Dash grants you even more traversal options and allows you better freedom of movement to get around quickly and not get caught. 
This build gives you the most options to remain unseen with maximum efficiency. Coupled with invisibility and the rest of our choices, this will practically make you untraceable. Before getting Icarus Dash, however, you may want to take a look at the Cybernetic Arm Prosthesis. You'll want the optimized musculature, which lets you move and throw heavy objects. This will be another thing to help with traversal. Many times you go through a grate to avoid detection only to find the exit is blocked by a fridge or a dumpster. It's a serious problem. This will let you move those obstacles out of the way. Often vents are covered by something heavy too, so you won't discover that entry point unless you can physically remove your obstacle. You can also throw objects to draw attention for knockouts, but remember you'll want to be stealthy most of the time. You will also need the punch through wall augmentation, so you can get through vents and walls of course, to get to secret areas to have even more ways of avoiding being spotted. So that's arms, but let's not forget legs. With this you'll want the Kill Springer Jump Mod. One of the big reasons we want this is because for stealth you want to access as many pathways as possible. You do not want to be limited by a situation where you can't get up somewhere because you can't jump high enough. Throughout our playthroughs we've found plenty of reward and satisfaction in heading over the top of our enemies and operating from above. Now at first we thought that the best stealth build would choose leg silencers but we found this to not be the case. In our playthrough testing, we really didn't need them. It also drains battery that could just be used for invisibility or any other option, really. Jensen is a very stealthy agent as it is. A great augmentation you'll probably want alongside the leg upgrade is the Icarus landing system. In ways, this could be seen as an optional convenience perk, but trust me when I say that it's a lot more helpful than you'd expect. It's great to navigate through vertical places and to get around areas faster. It's especially useful if you've been exploring rooftops using the Icarus Dash. By cutting down time, the Icarus landing system also helps you remain undetected, as we all know that waiting around or wasting way too much time standing on an open platform will get you seen. I also expect people to ask this, so I'll tell you now, we're not getting the quick reflex booster, as there aren't heaps of opportunities to use it. It is really cool though, so get it if you want, but with this build you're meant to avoid contact unless it's absolutely necessary. Another augmentation you'll want for this build is remote hacking. This is seriously effective, even more so with the security domination upgrade. Security domination lets you turn off cameras, turrets, and laser tripwires, things like that. It helps you conserve battery too, as you don't have to use invisibility for long periods. Let's say there's a guy in front of a camera you need to knock out. You can remote hack the camera, turning it off, and then knock the guy out and drag him away. That's when this upgrade really shines. The base remote hacking allows you to unlock all kinds of things. Something notable are the hidden ladders in the game which give you access to new paths and places. You can also use it to activate EG switches which block out windows. This is useful for sneaking past officers, although you need to use this in combination with smart vision if you want to activate the switches through a wall. This makes smart vision a good investment for some playstyles, but we found it a better investment to instead put points into the Wayfinder radar system. This is an augmentation you'll want to prioritize if you want a better idea of where people are. You want the vision feedback upgrade which shows the window of vision for all the people on your radar and the range boost which increases radar detection radius. This lets you see more of the area on your minimap and arguably negates the need for smart vision and also the lidar mark tracker which we're not getting. This and smart vision are both useful and cool, but if you're trying to be super efficient with opportunity cost like we are, just stick to your radar system. That said, do try saving your game and testing the smart vision out. It may be something that you really want. Like most Deus Ex builds, you'll obviously want some hacking prowess, but prioritize getting up to hacking capture level 5 to give you access to new areas, loot to sell, and missions. Hacking itself doesn't actually have to be prioritized at all, I'm just saying that you should definitely get hacking capture before you even consider turret domination and robot domination. We find that these upgrades aren't particularly necessary because these things can be remote hacked or snuck past with invisibility. Hacking fortify and hacking stealth are both optional trees which are useful for hacking, but again we say you don't need them. They can both be substituted by hacking software, which we'll be using plenty of. Just remember we have other augments that you should be prioritizing. 
Some other choices that are fun but are not necessary at all are Tesla and Nanoblade, which can be used to silently knock out or kill enemies. We haven't prioritized these as we're trying to sneak past people. Other options like knocking guards out with your hands are preferable to wasting Praxis points. So that's what you'll want to do with augmentations for your build. But that's not enough. Being a stealth build, you'll also want the right gear. At the start of the game, in the opening mission, you'll want to choose the stun gun, irrespective of whether you're playing lethal or non-lethal. Both lethal options are easy to acquire after the first mission, not that you'll really need them anyway. We like the stun gun more than the tranquilizer rifle too, because most of Deus Ex is close quarters. The stun gun is a quick solution for many problems, so it'll definitely be part of your gear for the whole game. You could also add in the Trank Rifle as gear to use, or a Silenced Sniper Rifle if you want to be lethal. Basically, you'll want a long range and a short range weapon choice available if it's necessary. Again, try not to be detected, so don't use weapons when you really shouldn't do so. Other gear needed is tons of hacking software and lots of bio cells. Multi tools are also very useful early on if you haven't prioritized hacking much. You should stay away from grenades as a general rule, but you can carry smoke grenades for emergencies. That said, if you're playing this build to never trigger alarms or get detected, an emergency isn't something you'll ever find yourself in. And that finishes off our stealth build for Deus Ex. Remember, if you love builds, then click the subscribe button, because if you do, you'll soon be enjoying our pacifist Deus Ex build, which doesn't kill anyone, and our combat build, which kills everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Scott and I are both really grateful for your support. We really appreciate it. We hope you enjoy your ultimate stealth playthrough, and also your foxiest of hounds achievement. Social media links are in the description if you're fascinated. It's been Michael with a Mankind Divided build, and I look forward to nerding out with you again very soon.